Welcome to Desert Living, where we connect you with everything that makes the Coachella Valley a wonderful place to live. Desert Living starts now. Here's Brian Gallo. Well, our bodies are always changing, and it's important to know what the changes can entail. Dr. Gary Leifer of Walsh Urology is here with me right now to talk about prostates change as men age. Sounds about right, right? Absolutely. How are you? Good. Nice to see you again. Thanks you for as having well. me. Yes, I appreciate welcome it. Welcome to the studio, of course. So explain what the prostate is and how it can change uh, as far as men and how we age. Okay, so the prostate is a gland that sits just below the bladder in men and it sound, surrounds the urethra, the tube that carries the urine from the bladder to the outside. And as men age, the prostate naturally enlarges in size. And the difficulty is, as the prostate enlarges, it can squeeze on the canal that carries the urine and restrict the flow, and patients develop symptoms associated with blockage by the prostate. Gotcha, gotcha. So what are symptoms men should be aware of? I think the most typical symptoms are that they notice that their urine stream is slowing down, they're having to get up at night to urinate, it's slow to start, and that they may have some urgency to go and not as much warning time to get to the bathroom when they feel the need. Mm -hmm. I'm 39, how early can, can we start seeing signs of this? Uh, occasionally in the 40s, but more typically uh, 50s and 60s is when we start to see patients become symptomatic. I see. Okay. So what is BPH? I know that we've met before. I know a bit about BPH. Let's tell the viewers what BPH is. BPH, and I don't know if we've got the, uh, the images we can show the, pay, the, uh, the viewers, but BPH is basically stands for benign enlargement of the prostate. So it's a natural occurring phenomenon as men age, probably hormonally triggered. And as uh, we discussed earlier, as the prostate enlarges, it tends to block the urinary canal. So how does it differ from prostate cancer? Well, prostate cancer is obviously like cancer anywhere else. It just occurs spontaneously, oftentimes without clear-cut uh, cause or explanation. And the, the difference between prostate cancer and BPH is that prostate cancer does not oftentimes produce any symptoms until it's advanced. Mm -hmm. So if we don't catch the prostate cancer because of an elevated PSA blood test, or something on a rectal examination, uh, we're not going to get it at an early enough stage where it's going to be easy to cure. Mm -hmm. Just another reason why folks need to get checked out. Exactly. That's why we recommend regular evaluations by either the primary care physician or the urologist. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, when should somebody consult a urologist? Clearly, if patients are having symptoms that are annoying enough to bother them, or if they're having blood in the urine, that would be a reason for an immediate phone call to us. Typically, the primary care physicians are going to do the exams and probable PSA blood tests. And clearly, if the PSA blood test is abnormal or the patients are symptomatic, they will generally refer them to us for further evaluation. Okay, I see. And what are some of the prostate screenings and evaluations that, that somebody should consider? Okay, well, the most controversial screening is the PSA blood test, and it has been in and out of the media for the last several years about whether it's appropriate to do PSA screening in patients who are asymptomatic. Mm. And recommendations did come out several years ago about the unnecessary expense associated with the screenings as well as testing being done that may not be prudent or, or justified. The problem we've seen is that since these new recommendations have been implemented, more patients are presenting with advanced prostate cancer uh, where treatment is much more difficult and cure is less likely. So I think the pendulum is going to be swinging back towards recommending routine screening in healthy patients who have at least a 10-year life expectancy. Wow, wow, really important stuff. All right, well, you can register for the upcoming health, uh, Men's Health Seminar. Uh, this is for, is this for, yes, exactly, special offer right here, 855-564-9722. I want to thank uh, Gary Leifer for being here. You can find Walsh Urology in Ranch and Mirage. Schedule an appointment uh, or consultation by giving them a call or checking out their website at walshurology.com. Again, a big thanks to Gary Leifer for being here. This is important stuff. Go get checked up, and we'll see you after the break.